Oh, student stride here again. Today you're going to finish up little notes on section 10.2, mass and mole. Should have already done some hummer notes on this. Oh, make sure you've completed the hummer notes. Do this. Add in, have read the section, add anything else in that you haven't covered is important. Our objectives, what you should know as you complete this section, you should be able to relate the mass of an atom to the mass of a mole of atoms, convert between mass of moles and mass of an element, and convert between mass of number of moles and number of atoms of an element. These two are the real key ones here, these converting things. Remove vocab, we got a conversion factor, just a ratio of equivalent values used to express the same quantity in different units. New vocab, we're going to come up with molar mass. Our main idea, a mole is always contains the same number of particles, however different moles, moles of different substances contain different masses. Mole of copper and a mole of carbon have different masses. They have the same number of atoms, illustrated here, but different masses because one copper atom has a different mass than one carbon atom. Well, molar mass is the mass in grams of one mole of any pure substance. The molar mass of any element is numerical equivalent to its atomic mass and has the units gram per mole. So, we'll find our molar mass on our periodic table. And a little bit of conversions relating to things. So, if we're trying to get, trying to go here from three moles of 3.00 moles of copper, and we want to change it to grams of copper. So we start with the 3.00 moles of copper. And from our periodic tables, where we find this little thing, we see 63.546 grams of copper in every one mole of copper. Moles copper, divide up moles copper. We do our three times our 63.5. And two three sig figs is what we started with. Three sig figs, we get 191 grams. So we can also convert from moles to atoms, or mass to moles. And look chart you'll find in your textbook which gives you a little illustration of how to do it yeah we will do a lot of these conversions like these two we'll do a number of these things in class and we'll spend a lot of time practicing those and you'll have some practice problems to do with them too as we continue on so a couple quick Review questions you should be able to answer. A mass in one gram is one mole of any substance it's called smaller mass, so know that. And molar mass in its unconverted form is used to convert what? Mass to moles. Not as important as the preceding question. But still kind of important. So that's a quick review of some of the things we looked at through Hummer, we'll be looking at in class. So, these are the things you need to be able to do. So, that's all for now. A little, short little video today. That's it for now. Till next time, Mr.